You know, about 20 years ago, Ethics in Business was created to get 150 high school students together discussing ethical dilemmas, specifically to business, with facilitators from the San Diego East County Chamber of Commerce. It's won national awards, it's been a great event. But what we're really excited about right now is that for the first time ever, we brought the first and second place winners to a first Friday breakfast so that they could read their essay and kind of explain to us what they learned from that event and what their uh, take was on ethics and business. First of all, Ryan Dealin from Foothills Christian High School. He wrote a paper that about what would it be like if there were no ethics in business and in the world in general, what would society be like? Considering the idea of ethics in society, we have to consider the fact that society by definition can only survive by its members working together as a community and that without the very basic elements of ethical conduct, society would inevitably fall to pieces. It may sound drastic to assume that the absence of ethics would result in the downfall of an entire society. But when we consider each of the six pillars of ethics, we will notice that each one is crucial to the existence of a healthy and progressive society. In order to unlock potential and ensure the improvement of society, we must construct our individual lives and our communities on the building blocks of ethical conduct, taking care with every decision we make to consider the livelihood of others and the promotion of our neighbors. Ethics and character are the lifeblood of a community, and society can't survive without them. Our first place winner was from Mount McGill High School. Joanna Gonzalez really pointed out what the pressures are to act unethically as a high school student and how that would change her life if she gave in to those kind of temptations. Being an ethical citizen is about doing the right thing. As Greek philosopher Aristotle said, we do not act rightly because we have virtue or excellence, but rather we have those because we have acted rightly. In other words, people obtain virtue and, and excellence through ethical and positive behavior. Although I am not perfect and doing the right thing is sometimes difficult to do, I believe that making the right choices will lead to positive outcomes at work, school, home, and throughout life. This has motivated me to always be strong and try my hardest in being an ethical citizen. Sometimes it is challenging to do the right thing, but I have realized that I would rather accept the challenge instead of facing the hardships and consequences of doing the wrong thing by making good decisions and being a good leader, I hope to influence others and show people that I can abide by the six pillars of character in order to have positive outcomes throughout my life. Being an ethical citizen has given me the opportunity to do the right thing regardless of obstacles I am confronted with. Thank you. Now, one of the reasons why we're showing this to you is so that you can take part in this next year because we train the facilitators at each table. After hearing this, I think you might want to be a part of it too.